hunting plays a massive part in Red Dead Online. There are problems with it with the animal spawn rate and there's also the added problem of if you take it to your camp and sometimes your camp does not spawn in. But even with those problems we still find ourselves trying to hunt. If we do come across an animal we will try and kill it and you will try and skin it to go and store those animal parts so you can use them later. And that just goes to show how important hunting is within this game. So in this video I'm going to be going through my top 3 favourite hunting locations within Red Dead Online. Before I get into the video do just want to quickly shout out the Twitch stream. I stream every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Over there I'm currently trying to go through the Red Dead Redemption 2 story, trying to get 100% and when I'm not playing the story I am playing Red Dead Online trying to help out viewers, helping them trying to get as much money and gold as possible before that very next major update whenever it will drop. If that interests you then head over to there, drop a follow and you'll be notified whenever I go live. Getting back into the video, the first thing that I would like to talk about is the problem of the animal spawn rate. I know that this is a problem and I know that this is going to be a comment if I do not discuss it. Yes, I can highlight these amazing hunting locations, but with the animal spawn problem, if animals don't spawn in, it is kind of pointless even attempting to hunt. So before I share anything of any type of location, the first thing I'm going to tell you how to do is to get into a solo lobby. And how I do that is I always go into a legendary bounty. It is extremely easy. You select a legendary bounty and instead of actually finding the bounty or doing the task that the game tells you to do, you just go off and you do some hunting. You can still do the things that you want to do. It just doesn't have the benefits of being free roam, so you can't call in your camp. But you can call in your hunting wagon and you can store your animal parts in there. And whenever you are finished hunting, getting all the animal parts that you want to get, you don't even have to complete the legendary bounty. You can get rid of your hunting wagon and then all you have to do is pause the game, go down to online and find a free roam lobby. You'll then be brought back into free roam, that's when you'll head all the way over to your camp and you can donate all those animal parts that you managed to find in a legendary bounty all the way over to cribs. So that is exactly how you can get into a solo lobby. So now that you know how to get into a solo lobby and you can get animals to spawn in, let's go over to my favourite locations. The third place that I always head over to try and get some animal parts is over in the Heartlands. The Heartlands is quite a wide area, it goes from Valentine all the way over to Emerald Ranch and then all the way going down to Le Moyne. And there's a lot of distance in there so let's start to nail this down a bit of exact locations that I always go to just to find what I'm wanting to find. The first location that I would like to point out within the Heartlands is the Heartlands Overflow which can be found at this location right here just above Emerald Ranch. If you are in a good lobby where animals are spawning in, you can ride through here and you'll see so many birds fly up from the ground as well as fly over. It's actually crazy. I know people would say that the number one place to find birds is Le Moyne, going all the way over to Blue Water Marsh, hunting just above St. Denis. But Heartlands Overflow does have a number of different birds there. And if you pull out your varmint rifle, you should be able to get a number of kills. And as you pluck those birds, you should be able to get a number of feathers. It is a very good place to be hunting. And then slightly to the left of the Heartlands Overflow in this area here, is one of a very few amount of locations where you can find bison. The good thing about bison is because they ride in herds, you will be able to find five, six, maybe seven, maybe even more than that once you get to this location. So with that, pull out your bolt action rifle, ride alongside them and take down every single one of them. Skin them if it's a perfect hide, you can chuck that in the back of your hunting wagon. If not, just drop it, you can still get the meats out of them as well as you can get a bison horn. And then finally, the last location that I do like riding through is the Twin Stack Pass. Normally right on the edge of the cliff at the top there, you will be able to find some sort of hawk. So whenever I go through here, I'm always looking up to see if there's a hawk flying across or to see if it is on that cliff edge. If it is, I'll shoot that, go and pluck it, and that is a few more feathers that will sell for a decent amount once I take them to the butcher later on. I should also say that it is a given that you'll find deers, bucks, rabbits all the way across the heartlands because those animals actually are applied to every single area within Red Dead Online. But I do feel that with the heartlands because it is this open space and you can see for quite a distance, it does feel like you do see more of those types of animals. I don't know if the spawn rates have actually increased for this area but it always seems that you 
can find these types of animals around the Heartlands Overflow, going down below Emerald Ranch and then across that way to Twin Stack Pass. So if there is a reason where I need that specific type of animal, I will always head over to the Heartlands to find it. The next location at number two on my list is heading all the way over to New Austin to hunt at Charlo Springs. This became my favorite place very, very early on Red Dead Online. There used to be a cougar location at this point. There was also a second cougar location not too far away just at this point. And then third and finally, there was another cougar location which was at this point. And that's going all the way back to the beginning of this game. Unfortunately, things have been patched now and most of those cougars have gone, but there is still one. One that you can actually force to spawn in by doing certain things. So the cougar that remains is at this location right here, as you go up the hill just above the lettering of Chola Springs. Most of the time when you ride over there, the cougar will spawn in. And it doesn't require you to go that close for the cougar to be alerted and start chasing after you. But if you go to this location and the cougar does not spawn in, that's not a problem because if you ride all the way up to the hill go to this point here just wait there for a minute come all the way back around and stand at this point here on the top of that hill and look down most of the time a cougar will spawn in so by getting cougars and getting the amount of materials that cougars actually give you when donating it to cribs especially if it is a perfect cougar i always use this little route where i will pick up the cougar at this location whether it's spawned in automatically or i need to force it to spawn in. I will then take my hunting wagon all the way down, all the way round, and whilst I come across any type of animal, as said deers, prohorns and rabbits will always spawn across the whole of the map. If I come across any of them, I will kill them and store them in the back of my hunting wagon. Another good thing about this location is it has an endless spawn of ravens, crows and also condors. So I'm always looking up, killing those birds and plucking them, making sure I get those feathers. I will then follow this route, carry on going all the way round eventually to the point of where I get back to the cougar spot. The cougar will either spawn in again or I will just have to force it to spawn in. And as soon as that's done I do this whole thing again. I must say with this method it doesn't work as well if you go into a legendary bounty. It does seem to work better in a lobby and that doesn't matter whether or not it is a lobby filled with a ton of people or you just happen to be in a free roam lobby that happens to be a solo lobby. But because this has been a location that I have always got gone to from the beginning of Red Dead Online trying to get those free cougars back in the day just so I can take back on the back of my horse take them to the butcher and sell them and now that we've adapted it so that we still do have one cougar that spawns in and I have a little method a little route where I go round I had to put it on the list out of all three of these locations that I'm sharing with you because this is a location that takes me back all the way to the beginning of the game I've probably made more money in Chola Springs in New Austin from hunting than any other location within the world of Red Dead. But because of those changes that Rockstar made where you can't get as many cougars and the condors that you can get don't sell for as high as a price as what they once used to, it now brings us to my favorite location to set up and that is the Great Plains. The Great Plains when jumping into Red Dead Online the first ever time and recording my first ever tutorial to show you guys how to make money was based on the Great Plains. And that was because within the first ever Red Dead Redemption, I knew that there were bison outside of Blackwater. Coming all the way back to Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, I knew bison were gonna spawn in. So I did do a money method when Red Dead Online first came out, telling you guys to hunt in the Great Plains because you can find bison. You then take those bison all the way back to Blackwater to sell. And I did that for quite a bit until I found the Chola Springs method with the Cougar method. But as said, because of this game adapting and changing over the years, Great Plains has started to rise up and eventually became my number one. The Great Plains also has a cougar method, and because it has a variation of other animals around it, it just made the Great Plains better. But you can come to this location and normally a cougar will spawn at this point right here. If it does spawn in, you kill it, you put it in your hunting wagon and you take it away. If it doesn't, what you need to do is actually stand on this rock right here, 
face the other way, wait a minute, and as soon as you turn around and look back at the location where the cougar should spawn in, a cougar will spawn in. So both New Austin and Chola Springs and the Great Plains has a forced spawn for a cougar. But the reason that the Great Plains has an edge over Chola Springs is because you can also find bears throughout the whole of Tall Trees. There is also a number of other possible cougar locations. These locations aren't as reliable, but you can find them in all of these locations that you are now seeing on screen. In this exact location where you can potentially find a cougar, you can also potentially find a bear. So even though the cougar spawn in this location is kind of unreliable, it's also paired up with the fact that you could possibly be getting a grizzly bear at this location. You can find a number of animals such as elks, prohorn bucks, deers, and even rams all across the line of tall trees which also goes into the Great Plains. And then finally right in the middle of Great Plains, you do have what was my first ever money method within Red Dead Online, and that is the bison that spawn in. And with going all the way through those different animals, we're not not just talking about occasionally you'll get these animals because if you are in a solo lobby you will see these animals wherever you go and that is why the great plains has become my number one place to hunt and i should also say that i've been calling it the great plains but it also crosses over into tall trees it's right on the edge of both of them but anyway guys those are my three favorite locations to hunt let me know in the comment section down below do you agree or disagree or do you have a completely different list to me let me know your favorite locations to hunt within red dead online before I go, just as a last reminder, if you do want to be playing with me or even see a bit of Red Dead Redemption 2 story, trying to get to that 100%, then there is a link in the description down below which will take you all the way over to my Twitch channel. Drop a follow over there and you'll be notified the next time I go live. But anyway guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.